The worst of the winter storm may be over, but western New York is not in the clear just yet. A warm-up is headed our way this weekend, and officials turn their attention to the potential for flooding. News Force Angela Cristoforo shows us how crews are preparing for that threat. It still feels like western New York is in a deep freeze today, but that's all going to change this weekend. A drastic warm-up is expected, and temperatures could hit up to 50 degrees this Monday, and that's a cause for concern for potential ice jams and flooding in places like Casanova Creek. Yes, I already put some bags around, you know, the windows and basement to help in case. If Sandbags are ready to go in West Seneca's Lexington Green neighborhood in preparation for potential flooding that may occur as temperatures climb this weekend. Ilya Galias remembers the big flood of 2014 when Casanova Creek flooded the neighborhood and his West Seneca home. We had some water in basement and it was coming in garage. Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul says the state is providing water pumps and other services to areas that are prone to flooding. The good news is that none of our streams or rivers go through major populated areas. These are areas that have been hit right with routinely, so they're accustomed to this and we're, we know where to go. The Cotter fireboat was out on the water at Canal Side this morning, working to break up ice as we get closer to a thaw this weekend. We know the hot spots. We know how to get there immediately when the flooding starts. Officials say if the melt occurs slowly, then things should be okay. But if it happens rapidly, that's going to flood our rivers, streams, and creeks. Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul says more than 60 National Guardsmen are standing by, ready to handle flooding if it potentially becomes an issue. In West Seneca, Angela Christophoros, News 4. All right, Angela.